Hey, this is Holly with the Wild Blessings, and today I have a very special guest. This is Lee Fox, and she is <laughs> joining me to um, help us celebrate this Advent season and to share with you some of the things that she's been doing prior to class tonight. And she's been helping me also with videotaping because she has quite a um, experience with that, which I don't. So, so tell us a little <laughs> bit about yourself and about some of your where you've been in your journey. You're sweet. Yeah, I've had a long creative journey and part of that journey has been making art and um, making videos. And I spent some time out in Los Angeles and Hollywood uh, doing some productions, some acting, a little bit of everything. And I think a lot of that has come together just to have fun doing stuff like this and yeah. being able to help out. Setting you know, up, decorate. she decorated <laughs> this tonight. <laughs> And then it's been really fun um, getting some of your video clips of the things that you've been doing mm -hmm. over the Christmas season mm -hmm. and editing those together into just little sentimental pieces to yeah. um, try to convey your message. You gotta um, teach me how to do that. I want to. Yeah, and Jordan's go, these are some of the best things you put on social media. I go, I didn't do Thank you, so, wait a minute. I'm going to interject. How did you hear about Holly and Wild Blessings? I heard about Holly from Allison Winkler, mm -hmm. um, a good friend of mine in Boone. And uh, she invited me. She said it was a, a nature walkabout to learn about wild foraging and wild plants. And I said, yes, that sounds 100,000% like something I want to learn. Yeah. And so I came to your class over the summer, mm -hmm. I believe. It was in I think it was July. It was hot. It was during the summer, and um, just the energy was amazing, and uh, it was just so educational, but also so creative and free-flowing, and really opened my eyes to the bounty of beauty and edible things and medicinal things that are mm -hmm. all around us. Did it make you feel loved? Yes. Because God has provided for us. And we don't even realize the treasures and the riches that are at our feet. Yeah. So tonight we're going to be sharing some of the um, treasures that we uh, have in front of us. And um, first we're starting off with a coffee, and it's just regular coffee, but we're going to put in it some hickory bark syrup. And the hickory bark is um, what's on the back of, where's your... Oh, thing. Okay, she made this and she's going to be explaining to you what it is and how she made it. But the hickory bark is on the back and I've been sharing in my advent calendar how to make um, hickory bark brew by just taking the bark off of shag bark hickory and then simmering it uh, for a while until that smoky, sweet uh, flavor is just absorbed into the water and then you can sweeten it with sugar and make a syrup. So do you want to try some? Yes, I'm so excited to try Oh, this. you know what? You're going to have to go get me a spoon. Which there is to the right of the stove. Okay. And stir up mine and yours as well. And if you need more, it's right here. And so I also made some wild snacks, which are uh, right here. And they are also part of the advent um, where I give you all these recipes. So these are all healthy wild snacks that um, will actually be um, a good contrast to regular Christmas cookies and candies. Mm -hmm. So this one here is here. This is your plate. So oh. I'll put it on your plate. So take a wild Snickers and it has a date, medjool date at the bottom with some peanut butter and peanuts. And then um, do you see the autumn olive berries? Yes. Yes. This looks better than a Snickers. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> a lot, a lot and better. then um, take a, a butternut. These are heart shaped. Mm -hmm. Butternut. A coconut like it's like an almond joy but made with butternuts which are wild nuts and then take a pecan truffle and that's the that's an autumn olive yeah just for fun <laughs> so there's nothing really wild in there so um i'm gonna take one of these jace do you want a little plate too i'm, I'm good for now thank you okay good so i want to see what you think of this did you stir it yet yes okay right. here we go all right boy those mugs look really nice Where'd you get those? <laughs> so I've got some Wild Blessing merch now. And so I've got 11 ounce mugs and 15 ounce mugs that you can get at Etsy at my shop. And I don't, 
I'll put the link below. Um, but also, do you see this cute t-shirt that <laughs> Leah is wearing? I also sell um, t-shirts that are form-fitted or the athletic unisex t-shirts as well. And they're in two colors. You can either get a blue or in this really cute heather, kind of a heather gray. So what it's did like, you think this of it? This is a woman's medium, right? Yeah, yeah so would, would you have gotten a large? Do you think? I, no, I like this size. Yes, I think yeah. it looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? This, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. It's um, Here, smooth. Yeah, well, it, it smells like, have you ever um, smoked anything with hickory wood? Here, smell this. Like barbecue, using hickory and barbecue, people do that all the time. There yeah. Hickory chips in a barbecue. It's a really subtle. Well, it's kind of like um, just a, a sweet smoke. Here, this is just... Well, no, you have to eat it. Just oh, try I have to it. eat it, okay. Yeah. See what you think. I mean, I know it's very sweet, but can you taste the bark? Yeah. I mean, isn't that awesome? Wow, it's on the, so the flavor is sort of on the bottom and the back end of the, when you taste it. Like, I don't, I don't taste it right at the front, I taste it okay. at the back. Yeah. It's really good and complex. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to barbecue with, um, yeah. with hickory wood. Yeah. So, I can, anyway. I can taste that now. Yeah. That's very yummy. Okay, so I wanted to mm. share with you that um, my my cups have come in and I have purchased a bunch of them for my Patreon members. And so please come to my house between two and four any day this next week. Just let me know in advance when you're coming and you can pick up your mug. And you can also make what Lee's gonna share with us next to take home with you. And you can sample some of these um, sweets and treats that I've made in, uh, during the Advent season to share with you and with the recipes. So you wanna tell them what you made. Yeah, this was so fun to make. This is like a magical woodland bouquet. You just let me pick out anything that was inspiring me. And at first I did not think I was going to be able to do this because the ones that she's made, which you can see on the refrigerator, um, are complete works of art. But, you know, you have a very easy energy to be around. <laughs> so I just kind of started mashing things together. And... It's um, beautiful. And I, you, you'll have to tell me what these things are. I, I know that's a sweet gumball. Yeah, sweet gumballs, which are actually incredible medicine. Right. Not at this stage, but when you get them in the green stage, mm -hmm. when they're like the green balls before they've dried out. Yeah. They're, I don't remember what they're good for, but Suzanne Shire's written a book, whole book on them. Oh, cool. So it's, I think, an antiviral. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. This is um, yarrow. Mm -hmm. And you, you know what those little red berries are. Barberries. Okay. <laughs> it's an antibiotic. Okay. And they're out now. Oh, wow. Okay. They're all over the place. The barberries, okay. And these are juniper berries, those. which are really good for um, arthritis. My mom used to eat five of those a day to help with arthritis That's pain. That's what Jen's made out of, juniper berries, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that's lavender. Piece of quartz. Piece of quartz. Moss. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> and these are beautiful roses that I had yeah. dried and rose hips. Yep. And then what is the floof? That is pampas grass. I love that. I do too. I love that. So floof. And it's all on hickory bark. Yes. So what did you put on the very back? I put a clothespin and then several magnets. So we can put this on the refrigerator mm -hmm. as a magnet, or you can put it on a gift as yes. an accent. Absolutely. They're really so, beautiful everywhere. Here's an example. So this is what I did for um, for my gifts that I made this year. Is I would just make one of my posies and put it on the gift. And then I would, um, the person would not only get the gift, but they would get this that they could use on the refrigerator. Yeah. Or you can stick them in my tree. And um, Lee's probably going to post pictures of my tree. Yeah. Because um, it's really beautiful. And it's all made with wild blessings. So anyway, this is actually a gift for you, Lee. So Thank make sure you, you take that home. That's so sweet. Um, let's see what else do I have on here. This is um, za'atar, which is a phenomenal seasoning made with um, sumac. And these I actually picked today. So here's an example of berries being available even in the dead of winter. And um, they're beautiful against the snow, but you can see the energy and the brightness of them. Yeah. So in order to get the powdered um, flavoring and seasoning, you literally have to put them in a coffee grinder and then you just push them through a sieve so you're not getting these hard berries. Mm -hmm. But you can tell just by eating one of these berries, oh my gosh, how 
lemony that is and how tart that is. Yeah. So this is very high in vitamin C, That's really which good. is an important thing to know because we must have vitamin C and you can prov God provides it even in weeds, not just oranges. <laughs> yeah. So, but do you see that? Tastes like that a sweet little, part. Yeah, it does. But that little seed you don't want in your seasoning. I swallowed it. Is that okay? That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then um, I wanted to share with you the pine, um, pine cone brownies. They're kind of trending right now on TikTok and on Instagram and stuff, so I thought I would try them. And um, I think they're beautiful. And they're very simple to make. Can they just, yeah, you can, you can just, yeah. What are these, almonds? Those are almond slices or slivers, slivers. you know, and they look like, kind of like the cones. And you the put pie. powdered sugar on them to make it look like snow. And I covered them with dark chocolate. Yeah, they're, they're so beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to Advent and um, Christmas. The reason of the season is Jesus. And so I have uh, come up with 25 days of scriptures and movies and messages and poems that you can listen to and watch, activities you can do that are related to that, and then recipes, uh, tea, a wild tea, and also wild healthy snacks or um, not just snacks, but actual cooking for Christmas feasts. and. Um, Usually it's with what we've already collected, like my wild freezers or my wild, wildly preserved. So um, that is, and I have handouts that come with each day. So I'll be putting this into an ebook for next year and I'm excited to share it all with you. And so one of the handouts that I have in one of these days is called One Solitary Life. So this is part of the Wild Blessings Advent. And this is the handout, One Solitary Life. He was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. And then for three years, he was an itinerant teacher. He never wrote a book. He never held office. He never had a family or owned a house. He didn't go to college. He never did one of the things that usually accompanies greatness. He had no credentials but himself. While he was still a young man, the tide of popular opinion turned against him. His friends ran away. One of them denied him. He was turned over to his enemies. He went through a mockery of a trial. He was nailed upon a cross between two thieves. His executioners gambled for the only piece of property he had on earth, his seamless robe. When he was dead, he was taken down from the cross and laid in a borrowed grave. Twenty centuries have come and gone and today he is the central figure of the human race. All the armies that ever marched and all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat and all the kings that ever reigned put together have not affected the life of man on this earth as much as that. One solitary life. That's really powerful. But before you do, let me tell you a little bit about the flow. So the first day is talking about God is the creator and um, that Jesus is God and that God spoke through his son and um, that the Bible is prophetic. So this is kind of the flow. And what's interesting about the Bible is it's the only perfect thing that we have on this earth. And it was actually written by people, but it was inspired by God so that no word of this book is man's own words. It's God speaking through men. So one third of this book is prophetic, meaning it's futuristic. It's the future written in advance. So the amazing thing about our Messiah, about Jesus, is that there were over 300 prophecies concerning his first advent. And advent means appearing, appearance or arrival or invasion. So God invaded earth as a little baby 2,000 years ago. And uh, he came as a suffering servant to die on the cross for our sins. And um, he's coming again. And so there, for every prophecy concerning the first coming of Christ, there are eight concerning the second coming of Christ. And so in this Advent, we then go into the prophecies concerning his first arrival or his first invasion and how he fulfilled them literally, not allegorically, but literally. Like he was to be born in Bethlehem. That was 600 years before that was said that in Ezra, no, was it Micah 2.5? Um, then he was born in Bethlehem and that he was pierced, his hands and his feet. It was told that that was going to happen in Psalms 22. 
And sure enough, he was crucified on a cross where they pierced his hands and his feet a thousand years before crucifixion was even invented as a way of torture. Um, and so all of those 300 prophecies were very literal. And so his second coming is going to be literal as well. And so the Bible says there's a special blessing to those who are looking for his appearing. So I end up, after going through his life and the um, prophecies of his birth, I go through his ministry and his life, which was amazing. And then I go into the prophecies concerning his second coming, which he told a lot about himself while he was still here on earth. So I'm personally looking forward to Christ's return and looking at the signs of the times. There was a lot in the, hidden in the first advent that is coming that was telling us about the second advent as well. So in the first advent, there was um, a signs in the heavens, which were remarkable. And in the second advent, there's going to be signs in the heavens, which will be equally remarkable. And all of that will be explained in the advent. So I'm excited about sharing all of that with you. And it's been kind of like my passion because I get to talk about God, who I love in Jesus, and, and I get to talk about His creation, which I adore, and I get to, I'm really a foodie, and I love to be able to share recipes and some of my favorite things to forage for and then how to cook with it. And um, so, and I love sharing with others. So it's kind of all of my favorite things all in one. Okay, so you want me to try one of these? Yes, I want you to try the wild snicker. Okay. <laughs> It's so much. Why would you even buy a Snicker bar when you can do this? It's so much better. It's mm -hmm. like a heavenly peanut butter and jelly mm -hmm. chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can take the rest of them home with you. Thank you. I will. <laughs> They're so great. Patreon members, come by and you'll get to eat these and make one of the um, ornaments and get a mug. I want to just thank you guys so much for supporting me and. If you want to join my Patreon team, you get to come to in-person classes at a quite reduced rate. And um, I get to bless you throughout the year. So thank you for blessing me. I so appreciate each of you. January is going to be an amazing month. We're going to be focusing on wildly well, wild and well, and how to make um, healing medicines with what's out there in nature now and how that can impact you. Um, in fact, you tried We made one. You tried, oh, you did? Yep. She did. Well, that was with essential oils, but tell about the pine. So I was sick for a month and nothing was working. And I texted you and I said, help. <laughs> and you told me to boil either pine needles or mm -hmm. um, pine essential oil, which I had. And I did that with a towel for steam tent, steam tent on my stove for about 10 minutes. And it made me... It, it cured me 50%. It, it, brought, made, it brought up a lot. Of, I started coughing up. Mm -hmm. Before I was just coughing and coughing and nothing much was happening, not to be gross. But after that, it, 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 was, it was getting it out of my body. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that was the turning point in yeah. my healing. And it was a great suggestion. And Thank there you. are no side effects. So, um, yeah. It's yeah. like your house smelling great. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so uh, we are so uh, wildly blessed with what God has provided for us. If you just knew what pine offers you, it would blow your mind. Yeah. Or sumac and so forth. So I'll be doing an entire class on pine. I'll be doing classes on essential oils. I'll be doing talking about the oils that were used throughout the Bible. 23 different ways to support emotional, spiritual, physical, even social, social and relational health. So um, it's a fascinating study, and that will be in the month of January, and I'll be letting you know how you can sign up for those. So God bless Thanks. you guys, and get outside. <laughs>